today's video is going to be a May Q&A and I don't know when's the last time I've done a Q&A video but it's been a long time so I decided to film one for you guys because I want you guys to get to know me more and more and more so these questions you guys get to know me more on a personal basis and um if you guys are wondering how I get my questions and how to get featured in my Q&A videos, I always post a picture on Instagram and I always ask, you know, for questions for a Q&A video and I always get tons and tons and tons of questions and they're all great questions which I love. So, if you like to be featured in my June Q&A, it's really crazy to say we're going to be in June. Like, what? Like, where has the time gone? Like, it's crazy. But, um, yeah, I always post a picture and I'll ask you guys for questions. So if you guys are not following me on Instagram, make sure you do so you guys get featured in my June Q&A. And I'll have my Instagram right over here somewhere. But it's always in the description box below my Twitter and all my social media. So, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. So the first question is, why are you so pretty? Oh, uh, thank you so much. But actually, I can't answer that question. Um... I guess you guys think I'm pretty and um, yeah it's just you know a gift from God and everyone's made differently everybody's made in their own way so basically I'm just happy who I am and if you guys think I'm pretty thank you so much are you like honestly are you a humble person I am a humble person I can be and sometimes if someone gets me mad I can be really really rude and like ignorant I'm sorry but like I really can be but Deep down inside, I am very humble. I love, you know, helping people. I'm all about giving and stuff. I'm not always thinking about myself. So, um, yeah, you guys can consider me as a humble person. Are you the only child? Yes, I am the only child. My sister died in 2007. I was a twin. I'm not, um, identical. I was fraternal. So that means you're not, like, alike. Um, but, um, yeah, we were born on February 19th and... It was sad that she had to leave the earth so quick. Um, she's gone, but she's never forgotten. So yes, I am the only child. What's your fave color? My favorite color is pink. You guys know that. I tell you guys all the time, but yes, pink is my color girl. Like, yes. How do you deal with people talking about you at school? Um, to be honest, I don't really let it get to me. I'm not, you know, that type of person to let stuff really get to me. Like stuff like that, especially stuff like that's petty. Like, talking about someone is really petty. Like, if you got something to say, just come to me and directly say it. Like, you don't gotta be indirect and say it to somebody else. Like, just be direct and come to me. You know, it's it's causes less problems. But if you're talking about, like, people actually talking about you, maybe, um, let it slide. And then, if it keeps occurring, come up to that person, maybe confront them and say, you know, like, um, is there a problem with us? Like, um, do we have an issue? Like, What's the problem you talking about me? Like, if I don't talk about you, so can you keep my name out your mouth? Like, something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, just keep it, keep it cool. Don't be like, yo, yo, like, why are you talking about me? Like, mixing me up at school. Like, don't be like that. Just be like, well, um, you're talking about me, and I'm not really liking the stuff that you're saying. Be, be calm about it. Don't be all, like, aggressive like some people just always want to fight. But, um, yeah, I'm not the fighter type, you know? I mean, if I have to, I will. But I don't like fighting. It's not my thing. But yeah, just be yourself. I mean, there's always gonna be haters and jealousy in the air. But you know what Fatty Wap says? We call it fans, though. When you eat a taco, which way do you tilt your head? Okay, so when I'm eating a taco, I like, I think this way? Yeah, this way. I turn to like my left. <laughs> That's weird, but I turn to my left. What's your most favorite shoe? Um, for like Jordans, you guys know it's my Concords, hands down, even though I have a lot of great shoes. As Jordan's Concord just forever will be my favorite. I don't know why, just they're so neutral and so pretty. Oh, I love them. So definitely my Concords. What's your favorite Jordan? Um, like I just answered my Concord 11s and I have the Lowe's, not the original ones. So yeah, my Concord Lowe's. Do you have a crush or a boyfriend? Um, no, I don't have a boyfriend, but I do have a crush on someone. So yeah. If you could only wear one brand for the rest of your life, what would it be? Um... I shop a lot and it's kind of hard to pick one brand. Um, you know, I shop at Pink, um, Pac, Sun, Charlotte Rue, Forever 21, um, stuff like that. So if I had to choose just one, which is really, really hard, I would have to say Charlotte Rue because they have some banging clothes. I'm trying to tell you, their clothes be bomb. Like, if you don't shop there, girl, you gotta get to moving and go to the store because you will find some banging clothes and if I had to pick it will be Charlotte Russe. How old are you and what is your favorite color and where do you live and please give me a shout out on Instagram and YouTube. 
and he gave me my his name. Okay, so how old am I? I am 15. He also asked, where, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink. And he said, where do you live? I live in Pennsylvania, which is in the United States. So, yeah. And for the shout out part, I know we don't give shout outs, but shout out to you. Can you do an updated shoe collection? P.S. I love watching your videos. You are inspiring. Thank you so much. That means a lot. You know, when people say like I'm their role model and I inspire them, it makes me feel like I'm doing something really good and I'm going to continue going on that path. So that means oh, the world to me, guys. Like, you guys are so sweet. I just love, love, love every single one of you guys. When you guys say I'm inspiring and I inspire you to make videos and just be yourself and stuff like that, it makes my day. So, thank you so much. And of course, I could do an updated shoe collection. You guys want that? I will because I will admit in my last shoe collection, I did say a few names wrong because it was last year. And, um,. I didn't really study the names of my shoes, so I will do an updated shoe collection and um, I will have the names down packed and stuff and say them right and stuff. So yeah, I will do an updated shoe collection. If you had three wishes, what would they be? P.S. Love you. Love you too. And if I had three wishes, wow. So the first one would be to help the homeless because I feel like if I was in their shoes, I don't know what I would do. Like I would literally... I don't know, I would just cry like every single day, like just seeing like people struggle is just it's so sad and I just wanna like help the world and make a change in the world. So if I could I would help the homeless if I could, you know, build um community centers and help them, you know, feed them every single day, um, give them, you know, soap, lotion, things that they need for like a day to day basis. If I could do that, I would do that. I would make that happen like in a second I love helping people in need so that's the first thing I would do with one of my wishes the second thing is to legit have a million dollars and get to go shopping like girl I would buy an MCM bag Louis Vuitton bag um I'll buy my Burberry rain boots that I want I would buy hmm um true religion jeans um Gucci belt Gucci bag Gucci sunglasses um probably a car for when I get 16 Let's see, all kind of jewelry, clothes, help my mom and dad out, help my family out. So again, if I had a million dollars, it would be crazy, yes. And my last wish I would use it for would to have all of Max lipsticks. I want them so bad. You don't know, like I want them so bad. So if I could have one last wish would be to have all the MAC lipsticks. Do you take shampoo and conditioner bottles from hotels? Wow. And where would you bury hidden treasure if you had some? Okay, and no, I don't take shampoo and conditioner from hotels. I feel like their brand of shampoo and conditioner is just, it's weird, it's like cheap and no. If I had treasure, where would I bury it? Hmm. I don't know if I want to say it because then y'all know and y'all go find my treasure. So I'm going to keep that a secret. Favorite drink from Starbucks if you drink it? Um, girl, of course I drink Starbucks. Starbucks is my life. Like, I love Starbucks so much. And I drink two things. So my main two things is first the Very Berry Hibiscus. Hands down favorite drink. I got my friends drinking it. I got all kind of people loving it and stuff. So definitely the Very Berry Hibiscus my main. So, yeah. And the second thing that I drink is the caramel frappuccino with no coffee. My friend Alexis has her family addicted to it. That's how you know it's good. Like legit, she loves it. Tells me all the time that she wants like a Starbucks gift card and she goes there almost legit every week. Like it's crazy. So I got people addicted to my drinks. So that's my main two favorite drinks. What are your favorite stores to shop at in the summer? My favorite stores to shop at are PacSun, Rue 21, Charlotte Ruse, Forever 21. Um, I like Sephora to get more makeup, uh, Fort Locker to get sneakers, Steve Madden, sandals, any place that has cute sandals I would go into. Um, that's basically where I shop throughout the summer, so yeah, those are my stores. What's your favorite songs and what makes you happy? Uh, my favorite songs are legit so many, like I have so many, but my favorite first song is The Nasty Freestyle by T. Wayne. It goes first, let me hop about that song. So, yeah, love that. Um, I love a lot more um, songs. I can't like name them, but I have a lot. I have a SoundCloud and I listen to all my favorite songs on there, so yeah. And 
and what makes me happy? Um, what makes me happy is, you know, seeing myself reach my goals and get further to graduation and knowing that I did my work and that I, you know, accomplished a huge, huge, huge milestone in my life. Like, graduating is like legit the ultimate milestone in your life and you should be looking forward to it if you're in high school it's going to be the best four years of your life i'm going next year so i'm really really pumped to go to high school because middle school is just really basic it's annoying i'm trying to get out of there to a young kid there it's just annoying so they got fifth grade in there now like i'm not trying to no i'm not trying to hear that what makes me happy is just make see myself um succeed in life and reach my goals Chipotle or Starbucks? I never actually tried Chipotle. I know you guys are probably going to attack me in the comments like, girl, you're weird, you're crazy, you need to try it. I don't want to try it. I feel like it's going to be disgusting. If I do try it, leave me some um, food suggestions in the comments what I should get if I do try Chipotle. I don't know if I'm going to try it, but if I do, leave, leave me some really, really good um, food suggestions in the comments. And, duh, Starbucks. Starbucks is my life. And... Yeah, Starbucks is bae. How many pairs of shoes do you have? I actually lost count. Um, when I did my last sneaker collection, it was like 50 something, something like that. So, I've got a lot more shoes since that video, so I legit lost count. And you guys will see when I do my updated shoe collection. What are your top five fair pairs of shoes in your collection? Um, first, hands down, Concords. Um... I love my hair sevens. I also do really like um, my fire reds. They're one of my favorites as well. I also like my fruity pebbles with my LeBrons. Um, and I also really like my Oreo fours. So here's yeah, my top five favorites. How do you afford all of your shoes? So I have my own bank account and I have my own money and I get money from my parents and stuff. So that's how I basically afford my shoes and my mom normally buys my shoes and I do sometimes buy them but majority of the time it's my mom I think every time she gets me a pair so yeah what's your favorite three pairs of Jordans um I kind of just answered that but I'll limit it down to three so Concord, hairs and fire red how old are you I am 15 if you don't mind sharing how did your twin pass away by the way I also have a twin all but um, yeah, we were at school one day and we were going down to our daycare and it was like down the street and she did fall on like this hill thing. She hit her head and she got um, rushed to the hospital. She did, took her to CHOP in Philly and um, yeah, she had to get a lot of tests done, see if she was bleeding internally or like outside and um, yeah, she just got really sickly and was not eating properly and it's just a really long story but yeah, she was put on life support, and my mom and dad didn't want to see her struggle and suffer anymore, so they did tell the doctors, you know, take her off because they didn't want to see her suffer anymore, and she went. And I was not there to see, which I'm glad, because I probably would have flipped out, and I was I probably would have cried all day. And when I found out that my sister did die, I was really sad, and I just couldn't believe. I was just like, no, it's, it's not real. But then I really realized she was not, like here anymore so it's kind of sad I don't want to start crying but yeah um it's just a really sad story and I may touch base on it maybe some other time more in depth but for right now that's basically just of how she passed away do you like Jordan retro 14s no I don't I have a pair I don't really like them I give them away like I just don't like them like they're just like big and fat and no Who's your favorite artist? We're talking about like singer artists, definitely like Beyonce or Sierra. And for boys, Chris Brown. And yeah, so that's about it. More info about the room tour. Okay, so I am in the process of getting like contractors and stuff to come do my room. My room tour should be coming maybe in late 2016. I'm not sure, but stay tuned. I will keep updating you guys when I get my progress. I may vlog um, me getting my room redone. So yeah. Burger King, Wendy's, or McDonald's fries? Um, Burger King has okay fries, so Burger King's out. Um, McDonald's or Wendy's? Um, I like both of their fries. Their fries are really, really good. Um, but if I would have to pick more, probably Wendy's. I don't know, like, they're just, like, fresh. McDonald's fries can be fresh, but you gotta get them, like, fresh first when they come out of, like, the, um, 
the uh, fryer thingy blobber. So yeah, probably Wendy's. I'm sorry, McDonald's, but I love y'all too. So yeah. What sports do you play? I do cheerleading and track. And um, yeah, so that's me with sports. I do. I live for track and I live for cheerleading. They're my favorite sports. So yeah, let me know what sports you guys play. What do you do during free time? By the way, I love your YouTube. Thank you so much. And um, what I do during my free time is normally chill with my family, homework, school, watch TV, eat, um, film for you guys, edit, um, go shopping, stuff like that. So when school's out, I'll be, you know, swimming and with my friends more. So that's really good. I cannot wait to get out of school. Like, girl, you don't even know. If you could do a collab with any YouTuber, who would it be? Probably Crazy Ray Ray because um, I just love her channel. I've been watching her since I was little. So definitely Crazy Ray Ray or Juicy Jazz. Ultimate subscriber goal. Of course, a mil. Like, I would love to get a million. That would just be so amazing. I would literally be speechless if I checked my channel and it said one million. Like, that's just a dream. Like, you just want to, like, succeed on YouTube and just reach a million and just feel great. And that's what I'm hoping and that's what I'm going to strive for. Did you get the Georgetown 11s? No, I passed on them. I didn't really, like, like them. wasn't feeling them as much. So, no, I passed. What is your best part about doing YouTube? The best part about doing YouTube is just making new friends. Um, you know talking to your viewers and um you know getting invited to events and um you know like you can get so many opportunities from youtube and just you know having fun and doing what i love which is like makeup and fashion and stuff so definitely just living what i love to do if you could pick three things to change about yourself what would they be and why so i would not want to change anything about myself um, I feel like it, no one should want to change who they are. Um, you are made individually. You are made like unique and everyone should, you know, be their own self. I would not want to change myself. I love myself and um, you should love yourself too. So that is all the questions going to be answering for this Q&A. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And also, if you guys are want to be featured in my June Q&A, like I said, wait till I post the picture on Instagram. You guys can comment any kind of questions you want to. So stay on the lookout for that. And also, I have my social media in the description box. You guys can follow me. I have Snapchat, Instagram, my personal Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that. They're all in the description box, so check them out. And... Um, follow my social media so you guys can stay updated with me and like, get to know me more on a personal basis So yeah, and I really hope you guys enjoyed the video as well You guys can comment request for videos make them unique make them different make them something I never filmed before So yeah, with that being said, I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye Mwah.